Guys, welcome to the video. So today I'm talking about tightening up during training. We don't want to train ourselves to tighten up. And this is the problem with a lot of athletes nowadays because we've got the training hard mentality. We go through sessions and we kill ourselves in lactic sessions, specifically in 400, but it happens obviously in 200 meters and 100 meters, but specifically in 400 meters runners, we concentrate on training hard, training hard, but we train ourselves by training hard by pushing ourselves, we train ourselves into a lactic state, which tightens her up. So how do we handle relaxation through fatigue? Because through multiple reps, through endurance training that we do as 400 meter runners, if you, you're gonna build up fatigue, however relaxed you are. So how do you actually handle, when you actually built up a lot of fatigue, you've got one last rep, how do you handle that fatigue and how do you get relaxed with that fatigue? It's a simple case, we take, take our focus off the fact that we're fatigued and onto our breathing, back to our here, ourselves here and now. Just because you're fatigued doesn't mean you can't induce relaxation. And just because, and if you are fatigued, the common thing is to say, right, this last rep that I've got to do, whether it's a 300, whether it's a 400, maybe a 200, it's gonna be painful. And when we think that, we feel we have to fight ourselves through it. The fact is we don't have to fight ourselves through it. We can't fight ourselves through actual lactic or fatigue. I go through a video, one of my most popular videos here um, about lactic acid here, talks about the fact that you don't fight lactic. You have to make friends with it. And the fact is when we've got a fatigue state, we've got one last rep to go, we feel wrecked, we go back to our breathing and we've got to go back to a slow breathing. Now, what, our breathing is going to be limited. We cannot, we're going to be not going to be able to take in as much oxygen. But above all, but we're actually thinking about talking about just after the breath, the vessel state. So if you just finished your last rep and you'd rest out of breath, you've got to recover somehow. OK, there is a right way to recover, but generally just for now, just try and get get back to normal homeostasis as it was where you, you're back to normal and your breathing is just fine. But when we're going into that final rep, we've got to we cannot expect pain. We've got to focus on our breathing and the slow breathing. And as I say, our breathing is going to be limited because we're going to be fatigued. And when we're fatigued, this area tightens up, our rib cage tightens up and the diaphragm can't move as much and we can't take in as much air. So we've got to make sure that our breathing is nice and slow in through your nose and out through your mouth and make sure again, the exhalation is a couple of seconds long through the inhalation. We want to feel that our shoulders drop as we do that. And once you do that, then you're going to feel kind of a sense of peace, even through the, the, the fatigue state. What we don't want to do is go into a state or oh, this, this, this last rep is going to be painful. I'm going to fight it and go in with tightness. When we're fatigued, we're going to be tight and you don't want to go into the last run and train yourself into more tightness. You want to get yourself relaxed and the way to do it, slow, predictable breathing as much air through you can into your belly. It's not going to be loads and then breathe out through your mouth or out through your nose. Breathing out through your nose is a nice way of actually steadying the breathing actually. So breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your nose. Make sure the exhalation is longer than the inhalation. And once you do that, you'll feel your shoulders start to drop and you'll feel, as I say, in a peaceful state to start that next rep. And when you start that next rep, that last rep is concentrating on still that looseness, that relaxation. And you'll find actually when you actually do that last rep through relaxation, you'll actually find that you'll, you'll have more endurance. Because surprise, surprise, you're not wasting energy on tightness. This is what I found in my training session yesterday, actually. One my second run was, my third run was just as fast as my second run. And, but I was really fatigued on my last run, just before my last run, and I practiced my breathing. And it was, and I was just a little bit slower than my last run. And I was definitely more tired. So you can get to that point where you lose relaxation and do just as, do just as well in that last rep, and it's not as painful. Make sure you're not training yourself into tightness in your training, whatever the case, even if it's in that last rep, make sure you have that relaxation. So that's for that for now. Hopefully that, that video was helpful in actually using relaxation through fatigue. Don't train yourself into tightness. Please like, please share, please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.